film anything tonight? <laughs> I don't know if I did or not. That's so weird. I can't even remember if I filmed anything. Didn't I? Did I film when we came back from voting? I don't remember. I don't remember either. This is so weird. I just woke up. Actually, I just nodded off over there, and it's um, it's almost nine o'clock. <laughs> Before I fell asleep, I made some rice, so that was a good thing. Yeah. And I just made some green beans, delish. And we have these lentil bowls, thank goodness, that we got the other day from Sam's Club, so that was lucky. It's killing me now. I'm thinking, like, did I actually film? I don't think I did. That's so weird. Ah! That one's hot. <laughs> that one's hot, for sure. These look pretty good. Why didn't you give him the whole thing? Because I made enough for everybody to have one bowl. Um, I'll have it when he ends his second. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you try it? No. No? It looks really good. It smells good. I'm going to have, uh... Mmm! Love those. So good. You made a face like... <laughs> that looks nice. I did the rice the way you like it with the sushi rice. You need like five times the amount of green beans there. I'm not crazy about green beans. What? Green beans are like the vegetable. Dog. Uh -oh. Dog. <laughs> Chickpea. Bowie. I can't believe we have to beg them to come pick up stuff. There we go. Pick that up, please. Right yeah. Thank you. All right, let's see what you think. That's really loud. It is really loud, isn't it? Alright. Yeah? Alright. Enjoy. Like curry. Yeah, curry. Good. Whoa! <laughs> he said more please. No. <laughs> I didn't film a lot yesterday. <laughs> it was pretty crazy yesterday. It was. So we um still don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is really um Unprecedented, I feel like. Yeah. Unprecedented. <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy couple of days, possibly, trying to figure out what's going it on. It could here. be, yeah. I mean, we could get an answer today, but then, like, if it goes to the court, it's like, whoa. Well, well. Yeah. It's, um, I prefer not to talk about politics because. I prefer to, but people don't like it. <laughs> that's why I prefer not to. <laughs> I used to I used to be a different person. <laughs> Back when I was your age, I preferred to talk about politics. Now that I realize um it's not a good idea, I don't. <laughs> so there you go. Uh we also let's change the subject. We've got a birthday uh remembrance. To talk about Catherine B's dad's oh, birthday is happy today. Birthday, Henry. Henry, I think would have been 92 if I'm if I'm correct. Um, feel free to correct me, Catherine, in in the comments. But Henry had the best smile ever. Um, he loved his donuts, and I'm so glad that he enjoyed watching us because that just made me smile. Yeah. So, Beautiful smile. thank you for sharing Henry with us, mm -hmm. and we're wishing him a very wonderful birthday today. And, of course, you and your remembrance of him. You're lucky to have Henry. He seemed like a really great dad. Mm -hmm. So, now, let's, again, switch gears. Okay. <laughs> I finally got to watch uh, Dancing with the Stars this morning. And what a good episode. It's a lot fresher in your mind than it is in mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that fresh in mine either. And you I just, just watched, watched it. it. I know, but you know what? I'm old. <laughs> so.
things just tend to fly out of my head. If, and plus, this season of Big Brother has really consumed a lot of my brain cells. Mm. So I don't have that much to hold on to in there. So I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well... It, um. So this was supposed to be like a big double elimination episode and all the couples were doing two dances each. Mm -hmm. But we found out that um, Jeannie, Jeannie Mai. had to yeah. withdraw from the competition, which sucks. I'm glad she's okay, though. Yeah, I'm glad that she's doing okay now. But I feel so bad for her. She was having such a great time. Mm -hmm. And she was doing well, too. She was doing well. You hate to see somebody have to leave like that. I... I hate that so much. Yeah, but again, glad that she's doing better. Mm -hmm. So it turned into a single elimination, but it was still intense. Ah. It was pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, so there was no no theme here. Um, so the, the first dance was like everybody's individual thing. Mm -hmm. And then the second round was like a relay dance, which we'll talk about. Right. Um, this was the first time I feel like that they've done the small relay dance. I feel like they've done something like that before, but like the way that they scored it was definitely different. Yes, that was different. Get... It wasn't three, two, one points. It was whatever up to three that you right. wanted to give. Like you could have multiple people getting the same amount of points. Right. Which was interesting. Yeah. I mean, I I'm for it. Yeah. Um. So let's let's not talk about the relay yet, though. Yeah. Let's talk about their individual dances. Okay. So, Caitlin. Jenna. I thought Caitlyn was up first. Did she go first? Didn't she? No, yeah, maybe not. I probably just made that up. I can't remember now. I thought I mean, Neve was second. It. I don't know. I thought Neve was second. I just like to follow this. Um, oh, you sure you didn't skip one? Well, I'm just going by what they have here. And they have Neve and Jenna listed first, but I don't remember if they actually went first. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> Neve and Jenna, they did a Viennese waltz. Mm -hmm. And me, like... Neve is just so good. I want to give a shout out to Hannah Stewart because we were talking about Dancing with the Stars on Twitter and she said this is basically Neve's to lose in her I opinion. agree. Like I think Hannah is right on the money. Unless he has some major screw ups, <laughs> he's killing it. I feel like Neve is Superman. He can't do anything wrong. Yeah, he's, he's doing great. Um, their dance was beautiful, of course. It's good times. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a joy to watch them together. I'm really enjoying Neve. Yeah. Uh, Justina and Sasha, they had a Samba, they got a 27 as well. Mm -hmm. This was so much fun. I love watching her too, and, uh, I have to agree with Derek Huff. They danced to the song Magdalena, mm -hmm. which is like one of the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate <laughs> Samba songs that right. you can dance to. So it was like a lot on her that she right. had this piece of music. But it was just so, so much fun. I loved her package with, uh, Rita Moreno. <sighs> Oh. Rita Moreno is such an icon. She really is. She's yeah. so lucky to be working with her. Yeah. She's right. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they did well. Uh, Caitlin and Artem, they did a jive and they got 25. What mm -hmm. do you think of their jive? Uh, I thought it was not as much of a jive as I would have liked it to be a jive. <laughs> A lot of her steps were really sharp, which is important mm -hmm. in the jive. She had those knees up. Um, I mean, it wasn't her best. I think she's definitely better in the ballroom dances than she is in the Latin. Mm -hmm. um, but I still thought it was pretty strong. Mm, I don't know. I feel like they judge her pretty tough sometimes because she has a dance background. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I You know what? As in ice skating, <laughs> this show has its politics. Of course. And they have their favorites. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, I feel like some of the celebrities get scored a little bit higher than they probably should have because they're like the judges' favorites. Yeah. But I don't know. I thought that the scoring this week was maybe slightly harsh, but pretty fair for her. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Nelly and Daniela with a rumba. I totally agreed with the judges, and it was very difficult for them to give him a low score because of the, the content. The package was so right. powerful, talking about his sister. Yeah. Um, again, and he like, was really emotional. Yeah. He was really fighting it. 
as was I. But Me too. <laughs> um, I just love that we're seeing this side of Nelly. Like, yes. I didn't really know that much about his personal life before, but like he's such a cool dude. He is. Um, yeah, this dance. He's a grunkle. Yeah. <laughs> His arms, like all the arms, were really great. His arms are great, but his bottom half the bottom is not half matching is up. A little bit in yeah. this dance. Um, I think he partnered Daniela really well, though. Like, yeah, he is a great partner for her. But mm -hmm. I just want to see him shine a little bit more. Yeah, he didn't like, have his breakthrough see, week yet. We need. Well, I mean, he's had some really good performances, but like this dance was not one of his best. I want to see more from him. Mm -hmm. You know, more of him in the forefront. That yeah, nobody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of those calls coming in. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Chriselle and Gleb, Viennese Waltz. Mm. I want more Viennese. <laughs> I feel like um, Len Goodman whenever I say that. Like, I wanted more yeah. Viennese content. You know, Gleb loves to do a sexy yeah. Viennese, but... <laughs> it, they, yeah, there was a lot of uh, not Viennese in there. <laughs> There was a lot of, like, posing in front of the bed. There was posing and pushing around and yeah. sliding around on the floor. I mean, and... she did great with what she was given, but... Yeah. That, that's not really on her. But she was given little because she probably couldn't handle Maybe, a lot. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I would have liked to have seen more Viennese content. That's my beef when they're like, oh, well, you, you know, you didn't choreograph enough. What? Because they can't do it and they don't want to look like yeah, dopes. Sometimes. <laughs> um, next up we have, oh, and she got a 24. Yeah. I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Sky and Alan Salsa. I thought this was a great dance for Sky. It was a great dance. She really broke out. Like, I thought... Yeah. She gave it a lot. I would agree, like, some of the transitions between the lifts were not great. There was an awful lot of lifts in there. There were a lot of lifts. Maybe a few too many. Yeah, a couple too many. But they were many. cool. Like, oh my god, that they last were cool. pose that they hit with that lift was incredible. How could you be angry with Alan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have said, you know, a little bit less on the lifts, but... Right. She's really improved a lot. She has improved a lot. So they got a 25. Maybe a little low, <laughs> says my stomach. Yeah, I thought that could have been a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I um, did eat. <laughs> yes. Sometimes that's it's just like a digestion sound. Okay. All right, enough of my stomach. Let's get back to the show. <laughs> Next up, Johnny and Britt with a foxtrot. This was so good. I love the story. I love their friendship. It's I, so much yeah. fun to watch. But yeah. I kind of disagree like i hate to say this because i love johnny and Britt so much but i felt like they were scored a little bit high they got a 27 uh, i'm just saying the foxtrot it was a little too jerky for me hmm. the rise and fall was a little bit too jerky for me because hmm. foxtrot is supposed to be nice and smooth well you know better than i do but i thought it was fantastic i mean i really liked a lot of the content they had but i just thought it was a little bit too jerky for me mm -hmm. um but I, I love them, so. <laughs> well, apparently Hi. the judges do as well, so. Yeah. Um, okay, next up, AJ and Cheryl. They did a rumba, and this story was super powerful going into this. This was very emoshi. They both talked about their struggles with addiction, mm -hmm. which I'm really glad that they did that because a lot of times people view that as taboo well yeah i'm glad they talked about it because it it's a big problem now yes but also like i think with people talking about it on tv more people are likely to talk about it yeah well life, that's what i'm saying I mean? i'm saying it shouldn't be taboo yeah it's gonna people should talk people about it to address yes. stuff like that so i'm really glad that they did that me too um now in terms of this dance I, I don't know if it worked for me with the rumba. Um, I thought it was very emotional, and that probably fed into thinking that the dance was better than it was, but, like... This the, one, yeah, this one didn't work so great for me. Um, again, the subject matter, so glad that they're talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it didn't really work for this 
dance. At times, I felt like it was more of a contemporary. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. It didn't have that rumba feel no. for me. And they got a 24, which I thought was, like, fair. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was it for the individual dances. Right. And then they had the relays. Right. So because Jeannie had to withdraw from the competition... There was a group of her two. Her group only had two. Yeah, right. her group had two. And then the rest of them had three. So the first group was Cha-Cha. Mm-hmm. And even Jenna, Chriselle and Gleb, and Nellie and Daniela. Right. I Random mean, order. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were, like, picking out the... Right, right. Um... How can you follow Neve? Yeah, I mean, they got, <laughs> they, got the highest, they got three points, and I thought yeah. that, that was the right call. Right. Um, all. Let me just say, all of what the judges gave extra points wise, what was exactly what I was thinking that I yeah. would give them before the judges gave them. Yeah. Um, let's see. I don't think anybody got a one, right? It was either no, two or three. No, in any of the dances, it yeah. was only two or three. Yeah. Um, and then. Chriselle and Nelly both got two points. Right. Yeah, I thought that was fair. Yeah. Um, Viennese Waltz. So they only, it was only Justina and Sasha and Johnny and Britt. And I gotta say, Johnny and Britt were perfection. Were amazing in this Viennese Waltz. They were yeah. so good. Um, and I thought the three points for them were justified. I would have given them six. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> um, Justina and Sasha got two. And it was just crazy because Justina's Viennese, when she had that for her individual dance, was so strong. Yeah. But just, like, up against Johnny and Britt here. It didn't look... Yeah, like, it, Johnny and Britt were the cool yeah, yeah. winners in that. Yeah. They really stepped it up. Um, Agree. And then the final group was the Samba. So you had Sky and Alan, AJ and Cheryl, and Caitlin and Artem. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they keep scoring Caitlyn Samba so high. I don't know. Because I don't think it's one of her stronger dances. No. But she got a three, AJ and Cheryl got a three, and then Sky and Alan got a two. Mm-hmm. I think Caitlyn probably could have gotten a two. I don't know. Just my opinion. I'm not opinion. trying to heat on Caitlyn because I think no. she's great. But... but I do view her as a judge's favorite. It's tough to say because sometimes they're really harsh with her. And then sometimes... Mm, most of the time they're not, though. I don't know. Especially in the beginning. I feel like they've been harsh with her in the past, but... Anyway, um... The two couples in the bottom two, we've got Sky and Alan and Chriselle and Gleb. Mm. I don't necessarily agree that those two couples were... The like, worst? Yeah. No. But that's where we're at. And it's hard, though, because I don't know who I would even... Interesting question. If Jeannie hadn't been eliminated by a medical condition, do you think she would have been one of the ones going home? I don't know. It's possible because, I mean, she was she was in the bottom last week, right? I think so. Yeah, so it's possible. Right. Um, but they ended up saving Sky and Alan, which means that Chriselle... I, I agree well, with that. Yeah. I mean... She From was, those two in the bottom, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, She was really entertaining to watch all season. I really enjoyed her journey on the show, but... I don't think she made as much progress as Sky. Yeah. Well, it's tough, I think, because Sky started off so strong, and then she kind of, like, right. fumbled. But I right. feel like now she's kind of on an upward yeah. trend here, so... I mean, I love Chriselle as a person. Mm -hmm. And I love her story. Yeah. But as far as the day, if, it, if we're just going by dancing, I, I think they made the right decision. Yeah. It is it's tough, like, to see anybody go at this point. I just... I, I don't want anyone to go. Season so much. When it gets down to, like, the top uh, six, I'm going to be losing my mind. It's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's our thoughts. I guess <laughs> Let us know what you guys thought. I hope that was a nice distraction from the world. <laughs> because now we have to get back to reality. Yeah. And it's not so fun. All right. So, um, thank you. We're going to be back today, tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, Sean's birthday is this week. I feel Woo! bad that Sean's birthday is this tumultuous week. Yeah, I know, right? You know? What a pain in the neck. Mm -hmm. But... 
Everybody's got to be born someday. Oh god, this is giving me flashbacks to the hanging chads. When showing like a whole bunch of a room full of people like counting stuff. Weird. <laughs> Alright. Whatever side you're on. I mean, it's weird for both sides. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> so weird. Have a great day, and um, maybe tomorrow will be less weird. I don't know. But until then, much love.